miscommunication here. What's up, All right. Club? We're back. Hello. Still in the same situation as before, and it looks like we're... Well, uh, we're close. We're, uh... Actually, we're on all the way in Artisan right now. We need to go to the other side of the map. They were so cool. Hey, look, Pinky in the Brain. Okay, so head right. to West Province Area 1. It'll probably say Central on it. Yep, got it. I'm there. And there now. Yes, Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, <laughs> the other's insane. Who is their mousy worth? No, oh, I said the wrong word. Boy, we're probably gonna get this for copyright, honestly. All right, so I gotta get my bearings here. Where are we going? Hey, there's a hard, there's a gas leak. Uh, yeah, I, I got one already, so I think we're gonna be... Okay, we head northwest, and then we go north from there. Yeah, we went to about here. Yeah, it's nighttime now, so we're gonna see some gas leak pop up here. So we're heading this way now here. I'm gonna pick up this item while we're here. It's Super Potion. Which way are we and going? Just follow me, I'm up here. I was gonna make you over there. You're cutting out there, dude. Yeah, I already know that. So from what I've gathered, it seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere in this mountain. Oh yeah, we already read this shit, come on. Yeah. Okay, so we've reached a crossroads here, and I'm gonna go and or take this path up here. I'm gonna wait for you guys. Oh wait, I see an item over here near the lighthouse. I'm gonna pick up real quick. I'll be right back with you. I'm picking up this uh, thing by the lighthouse, and it's a oh, it's uh, three antidotes. Okay, so I am going a completely wrong way. All right. Open up your slow down. Open up your map. Yeah, you went southeast instead of northwest. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to get you. The couch is already scratched up. Let it do it. Don't dead me. Yeah, our belly still has cold, but it's only been 30 minutes for the last recording. I'm gonna try and catch this little wall while, while I'm waiting here. Man, not even an ultra ball threw it away. Oh boy. He's in disarming the police sign. Uh, Spark is probably gonna kill it though. Well, I guess I think that's open sky pipe and we can throw them on this mountain. Obviously, the ball is raining down on the mountain too. It's gonna be a little bit of stand around and look for the pipe and want to dodge it all the day. But if you tell the pilot to get up by falling ball, but maybe you can power your way through the top of this through the area. Okay? Yeah. Alright, so I'm right at the fork here. I'm gonna head. I'm still laughing from that joke last episode. And there are boulders, so watch it. I'm going in. Here's a boulder. Hi, boulder. Boulders. Gangway coming through. Oh, boy. Ah. I got hit by one. Luckily, it didn't hit me that far back. Uh-oh. Okay. I, I made it up scene. to the top. I got cutscene. I got cutscene. All right. I made it to the top. I got the cutscene. I got cutscene, too. It's a We're giant pelican-looking thing. with a, It's a stork. Stork! Uh, that is one big bird. This is Bombardier. This is Bombardier, the open sky titan. This is a dark flying type. And I paralyzed All right. it. All right, go use Spark. Put it away. I think I nearly took, and it's running away already. And look, it's not running too far. It's gonna open up a hole in the mountain here. That's where the titan's uh, food is at. Yeah, the Yerba Bye. Mystica. Bye, bird. It's a woodpecker, because it just pecked a hole through the mountain. And it's Arvin. He's here. TG, you managed to get some Titan Pokemon somehow, huh? Well, so did you, apparently. So that's the Open Sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because I had a whole lot of attention on you, little bud. 
looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we better be ready to go all out. Well, I think we'll, we'll have a pretty easy here. Better be ready to go all out. Yep. All right. Well, I've got Luxray up front, so I think uh, I'm ready to go here. Hey, Ari Felia, your jab light's awesome. And I'm going to terastalize and hit Spark. Trying to drop rocks on folks with danger. Let's get this thing good. All right, let's try to wrestle. Whoa, he just laid the smack down on Bombardier. All right, let's try to wrestle. I'm gonna hit with one good spark. The wild Bombardier find is fame. You got him. Well, one I'm and done. Ari right, Bell, you did all the work. I'm just sitting here counting. Mm -hmm. Well, one and done with the Bombardier. Well, it's because these levels were so high. Finished it, too. All right. Good job, Luxray. Good. You can you can read it then uh, while I uh, while we do the you read it. Yeah. Bombardier. I will read. Yep. All right. So. Okay. So, so yeah, this is going to have a bit of a cut scene here. All right. Yes. Way to go, T. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more bowlers falling on us now, huh? Now we're gonna look for that Urban Mystica in that little cave that the Pokemon opened. There has to be more of that Urban Mystica ate in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. That Titan's dead. Going into the cave. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. We're looking. I knew it. Lo and behold, Urban Mystica. Yes. It really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. Looks like radioactive weed. We got the bitter Urban Mystica. Yeah. Woohoo, we did it. Thanks, T. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter Urban Mystica is great for your circulation and really gets the blood flowing. And that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Hey, Ari Billion, sounds like something you need. Or so it says. Yeah. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. What are you talking about? What are we waiting for? It's time to dig in. Let me whip up something for us. We have sandwich. <laughs> Boy, sandwich. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. It comes with a side of Titan badge. This is still my gratitude, of course. There's second Titan badge, the, the uh, flying one, the open sky Titan guy defeated. That is a oh. not a good looking sandwich. <laughs> well, yeah, it's bitter flavor. It tastes like garbage. <laughs> oh. ah. My guy is here. Oh, come on, you again? He wants sandwich. He wants to get stronger. Sandwich. I will give him. Here, here, take a sandwich. Take a sandwich. You like sandwich? Eat sandwich. Sausage. You trying to say thanks for something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with this hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely, did not make extra so that Karate could have a sandwich. Okay. And he just scoffs the whole thing. Oh, he gets a nice power boost. We'll now be able to move across the water. We can surf now. Did it grow stronger again? Oh, yeah. Man, these sort of Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they better or else I'm really up the creek. He's going to eat that in. Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. I'm uh, sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I just should at least tell you the full story, T. Come on out, bud. Hey! That is my boss, Jeff, my partner. Is that the matchup evolution? Yes. 
looks like an old dog, an old St. Bernard. Mm hmm. You good little thing. Or big. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. <laughs> Slowly now, take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. Oh. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things didn't work. Have you tried a Poke Center? Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon Centers, nothing. This isn't just a regular old injury either. My boss stuff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promise that I make him better whatever it takes. Oh. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Urban Mystica. That book, what is it? I found it in my mom's lab. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that industry impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Urban Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Hey, look, there's a gibble. And this book is full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody usually believes. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Urban Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, my boss's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Oh. <laughs> oh, his eyes glowed a little bit. Mm hmm. Hey, my boss, if can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I, I I'm so I'm so glad. Look at them. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mabosif back to full health, I swear it. So, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three years to go. Let's find them together. So now we know why Arvin is trying to get all the Urban Mystica to cure his uh, beloved Mumbostiff. That's kind of sweet, actually. Mm-hmm. Phone call. <laughs> Hello, T. This is Sada. I think the Karate has regained more of its original power. Well, riding the pot, it seems you should now be able to move across water. About time. Right. Yeah, we can now surf. You press the B button while you're in the water, you can even jump. So you can jump even in water as well. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Horizon. I'm already in on my phone. <laughs> yeah. All righty then. So. Hello. Good work, guys. All right, I'm going to switch the lineup a bit here. Because uh, our next stop is a uh, Team Starbase. Starbase! I'm going to need your help. My... I need your help, my friend. We're going up against dark types, so fighting types are going to be your best friend. Likewise, if you have bug or fairy types. So, we're going to be heading over yonder to here. All right, so I'll bring Gabbit. To where? To Dende. Uh, we're going to be heading uh, east, so let me see. I think we actually made it to backtrack. I'm going to actually fly back to West Province Area 1. I found a uh, dark crew base. Yeah, that's where we're heading. All right, uh, set it as destination. All right, I'm gonna fly back to West Province Area One for a little bit of a shortcut. Take your All right, Billy's gonna run straight towards it. Your center area? Yeah. yeah Basically, where we started. I am. Okay, now I gotta make sure I'm heading in the right direction here. Max coach is bound. Ooh. Take down. Hey, there's that fire type. Come here. 
Sharkadet? Yep. That's the fault of the Mega Man. He needs certain items to get to evolve, that's the thing. Uh, like what? Um, there's some kind of, like, armor I think you gotta find. Uh, I forget exactly who. What's that? Oh, I got him to right where I want him. Okay. So I'm back at the fork. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... That's... Okay, I, I need to get my bearings here. Charcadet was caught. Good job. Good job. Good girl, Pat Pat. I'm still going the wrong way. It's Dang two, it. It's two feet tall. Burnt charcoal came to life and became a Pokemon. Alright, so we're heading. Alright. I think I got my bearings now, so. Alright. We're going to go past the lighthouses. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. And back to where we are at that fork, and their bridge was there, so. Where a picnic guy was. And this time we're actually gonna go across the bridge. First, I'm gonna beat this trainer. What uh, are you? Enrique the students. And you got a Pineco. Really? Come for me. Alright. Use your rage fist. You know, you know. I think. <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, that's sturdy. Okay. What are you going to use? Self-destruct? Well, if you do use self-destruct, I'm immune to it because I'm a ghost type now. I found a Flittle. Flittle, I think, is a psychic type. I was having trouble with those earlier. I haven't been able to catch one. All right, so I beat the Pineco. Now he's sending out Nimble. I believe it's the uh, bug type. So let's bring out Talonflame. What's that? We're across the bridge this time. We're gonna cross the bridge this time. Yes. I'm actually. I'm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm at the. I'm at the bridge right now. I'm just finishing up this uh, trainer battle here. And Town Plane is easily able to take it down. All right. Training Candina tomorrow. I'm crossing the bridge now. Oh, that, that one <laughs> oh, I think I see you there. Oh wait. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's a, that's another, another trainer. There's a mud bray. I think I'm just gonna follow the path. There's four other regions on our own time. I'm just, I, yeah, I see the Pokemon Center dead ahead. I got a bit of a distance to clear, though. But I'm heading that way now. I'm in a, I'm in a battle against, uh, against um, Oink Cologne. Oink Cologne, okay. Trainer battle. Uh, okay, well, I got, well, I got oh, Trainer battle yeah. right here as well. Yep, I'm at, I, I think I just saw you, or that was Lisa, maybe. I'm fighting Backpacker Mateo now. He's got an Eevee. So, uh, I actually will, I'll use low kick instead. Try and use baby doll eyes on me. I see the Pokemon Center. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I see it too. I'm heading that way now. And that's our checkpoint. Then and down the hill. Wow, you're quite the yeah. character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just making my way up the path. Cause yeah, we are only a stone's throw away from our second team star base. So I hope you guys are ready for war. Up, oh, and I got another trainer battle here. I'm gonna try to try not. I'm trying to find a real Pokemon carrying a coin. Oh, uh, you're looking like Guinea Ghoul, huh? All right, yeah, I'm gonna try to catch this up and actually not kill it. I got another, I'm with another flittle. Mm -hmm. You find something cute, Lisa? Oh, okay. 
Out of metal. All right. Uh, she's going to fight me with a Tinka tank. The very steel type of this generation. Yeah, I was, I was gonna show off the one I caught, but no. I had to work today, so I took my Switch with me and my... I took it out of my backpack, put it in the truck with me, because I was getting loaded for five hours. I needed something to do. And, and, you le and you left it in the truck. Yeah, and me being a dumbass, I went at, like, I should have just driven all the way back to work, gotten in, and come straight back. I mean, yeah, that's 60 miles, but whatever. Uh, and, but no, I go to Walmart, buy a Switch, OLED, hook it up, and then find out you can only, it doesn't update to the cloud, it only updates locally. Oh, them's the skids. Uh, I, know why, all right. I know why they do it. I mean, that would be a pretty easy way to be able to, like, duplicate Pokemon, but... <laughs> okay, let me see. I've been having some nice battles. I'm at the Pokemon Center. I'm talking to this guy here. You defeat eight trainers. Once I defeat nine, I get a lovely prize. Figures. I need to eat one more trainer. You get a condom. Do I have to sick Annihilate by anybody? Uh... Could also sick your donkey too. Well, the donkey's in the box right now. So with this guy is at. Ah, run! Oh, I scared the crap out of Ninja. Sorry, baby. <laughs> uh, that's a. Uh... Oh, Swablu. Swablu. Ooh, okay. Uh, is now nah, Racious won't work because it's. Normal type. Uh, I'll try try low kick. See what happens. Good. It did. All right. I'm gonna try and catch this swap blue here. I'm gonna try premier ball. See what happens with it. Got it. Swablu, who wish to become a dragon type of its own, but I'm not probably going to use it, so I'm not worried about it. Ah, oh, crap, I'm in a cutscene. Uh, well, you're you're probably at the base then, so I'm I'm I am uh not too far away from you. I'm in a trainer battle. Mm -hmm. Claude. Ah, it's you, Arabella. A pancake, Ursha. Director level. Like I said before, the name's Claude. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Arabella, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How do you resolve this situation with Team Star? And what cause is its oh. members obviating? What situation? Uh, Team Star uh, is subject uh, to a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. <sighs> Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say their hold up in the base is plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I'm directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Dean Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Dean Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have been recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. So you are Dr. What the hell ever. You are the director, yeah. But I'm afraid there's been no response. And the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, I couldn't have come in a more crucial time. Speaking of, it's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Erk. I'm at the Poke Center now. All right. I see you coming up on one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Mm. It's just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Shh. Yeah, right. For yeah, soon, right. Keep touching. I'll be in touch. All right. Hey, you caught that. You caught that swab. 
I caught the Swablu and D caught a Mangy. I haven't caught Flittle yet, but I'm not gonna. Okay, and I just got a little closer to the base. I guess there's something, I guess there's a trainer battle I gotta get through to at least uh, start this thing up here. Uh, let's hey, see. Hey D, are you gonna start spanking your Mankey as well? Whoa, whoa, Man. oh, you. Up ahead at the base of operation for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Sega Squad. We don't take hey. too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Yeah, well, I don't take too kindly to people that don't take too kindly around here. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amiga, we'll have you send me back. Wait, hold up. What's going on, Hunter? But are you that Ari Bellia kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Do something. Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, it's not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get trashed by me, kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Yeah, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped in the dirt. Here's a better idea. Yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna do my mouth shut because it will be something in uh, more protection. <laughs> and you're gonna come at me with a Murkrow. I'm going at you with Annihilate. Uh, not the best matchup here. Uh, but let me see what happens if I use. Uh, well, let me just thrash. Yeah, I'll just thrash it. I've got a quick claw on Annihilate as well to help it move quicker. So I'm, I'm in the cutscene. Hold on. All right. All right. We won't start without you, D. Or we won't go in without you. Whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the, the cutscene with Clive right now. Mm hmm. How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever is your problem now, finish up for here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. What? Arnold Schwarzenegger's gonna shoot you for that one. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Sigh. Well, I'm gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squads the heads up. We'll come at you at full force if you step inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, Amiga. Hasta la vista. Yeah, fat chance I'm running here. So, pick your three best Pokemon for this base. Actually, get this cutscene out of the way first. Yeah. I think he took care of the guards. Nice work. Yep. Now, hold up in the base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, is pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. He also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. Really? He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic attacks like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. And who's shooting out fireworks right outside my window? Time to wipe the second squad off the map. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve, everybody. I haven't even done my Twilight Princess stream yet. Let's wait on Lee to get done. When he says he's done, we'll go. Yeah. All right, but get, go ahead and get your yeah, get your three best uh, guys here. In the, I'm in the battle with the Team Star Grunt right now. Okay, I'm gonna put Tauros up front, Annihilate second. So we're going to this dark type. So Bug, Fairy, or uh, Fighting will be your best bets. I don't really have much in terms of Fairy. Other way, oh, what? Let me have. Ari Belly's got Dedene, Hariyama, and Gabon. That's pretty. That's a pretty solid lineup here. I uh, should point out Dedenne will not evolve, so just putting that out there. Hey, he's got pretty, what? He's got pretty decent stats. Mm -hmm. I just, hey, Ari Belia, your, all your Pokemon are dudes. So I know for Cow. certain she ain't going to have no eggs in her picnic basket. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, who? Maybe, maybe I can also bring in a secondary one. I wonder if Geno uh, is in this game. He is. He is. All right, all you gotta do is have one of them set up Pokemon Picnic, and there you go, you're gonna be making eggs, and you don't know who it's gonna be. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make a change in my lineup real quick. I'm gonna bring in Gyarados to replace Lycanroc. And uh, I got a mother load of experience canes to give this guy. He's only at level 21 right now, but after I'm done with him, he's gonna be 
Wow, I, I shot him all the way to level 39. Two short learn... 37, Shay. All right, so uh, he's going to learn Crunch. I'm going to get rid of Splash. Learn Rain Dance. Uh, no thanks. All Uncle right. Tail. Let me get my team ready, and I'll be ready to go. Yep, I'm doing that right now. Hi, T. Hi, D. Wants to learn Dragon Dance. Uh, I'll get rid of Flail. All right. And, uh... And also, is there any new other moves I can teach Gyarados? Let me check. Oh, it's a donkey. It's Mudbray. Let's see. So I don't need Crunch and Bite. I can get rid of one of these moves. Hey, uh... I could teach it Ice Fang. I love the way you run away. I love the way you throw a ball in my ass. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach it Waterfall, and instead of Aqua Tail, just so I have it, I'm gonna teach it Ice Fang. And the thing is with my Gyarados, it has a Dragon-type Terra-type. So if I can learn a Dragon-type... Yeah. So, and now is there any Dragon-type moves I can learn right now? Uh, Twister, and that's not really good for my, my, uh, thing. My attack is all the way at 122. My special attack's only 49, so I need a physical move. And, uh, unfortunately, that's not going to cut. Any, do I have any TMs I can use? Probably got a bunch of them. Uh, let's see, TMs. Do I have any dragon? I don't think I have any dragon-type, uh... Dragon Tail. I give my Toro Smart Strike. Uh, let's get rid of Assurance. Yeah, my Toro's has got a pretty, uh, pretty, uh, big, um, move set there. Here's what my Toro's knows. I'm gonna put him at the front of my party here. It knows. And now, Kid Bear Mind's fighting type now. Zen Headbutt, Double Kick, uh, Smart Strike, which I just taught it, which is a steel type move that never misses. And there's a new move in the arsenal called Raging Bull. Now, I forget what you know, Raging Bull does, but I think it actually would change with type. Actually, let me look it up real quick. Raging Bull. Thank goodness, we're gonna have a little bit of action. Yeah, we're gonna have a bit of action in just a minute here. Well, I mean, well, we're talking action right now, dude, because you know. All right. I'm... Okay. Can't exactly depends. Your thoughts. <laughs> okay, so it becomes a fighting type move depending on your breed. Will break, light screen, and reflect. All right. I'm going in. All right, give me a healing up right now, and then I'll be ready to go. Are you ready to challenge right. you to start using your first three? Yes. Yep. We're going in. Get Leroy! ready to fight. Let's do it, kid. Some kid lucked out being one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this gate crash what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, gate crasher, know this. Unless you can be three of our Pokemon in ten minutes, our boss won't get a finger to deal with you likes of you. That's it, just thirty? How about three hundred? Alright. Well we only got a ten minute time limit, so. Alright. Toils, let's go. Get him, Gabite. Annihilate, come out. And Gyarados, come on out. Ew, skunk. Yeah, there's stunkies here, so watch them. They stink. Of course they stink. Hey, what smells worse? My farts are a skunk. Uh, that's debatable. Ooh, Sneasel's here. Ooh, boy. Mario Bellia says my farts are worse. 
Well, that's saying something she would know. Oh, uh, Ponyard's here. Oh, you raging monkey. Thank you, monkey. I got a bull, a dragon, and a monkey. Boy, we got Diglets here. They got lost the fray. Well, they're gonna die. Again, we're looking for dark types. These are. Yeah, the harper's just finding the guys to fight. I'm just gonna keep venturing forward here. Toros get him. Yeah, That's more uh, poniards here. I'm more than capable of taking them on. Oh, you die too. And it's not even breaking a sweat here. I want one of my Pokemon. Oh, fuck. Finish, or hit one of those uh, vending machines, they'll heal you, heal you up. He's way, above, he's way above our level, we gotta hit the boss. Where's the vending machine at? Uh, you gotta look, you gotta look. Forgive the fireworks, people. Alright. And here comes Giacomo. You know, your name sounds like a tag-off. Boss of Team Stars Darkwood, Giacomo. Another car? Yeah, they all have them. They all have them. Yeah, it sounds like Team Jag-off. I know what I said, I'm sticking to it. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. TUG, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started. Yeah. 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 Let's get it started. Enough for the copyrighted tunes, man. <laughs> we ain't gonna get copyrighted. He's gonna start with a pawn here. I'm starting off with Tauros. I'm starting with a Gabby. You don't I'm really think things are good. You don't want to do Star's real bad move. Well, as soon as I'm going up against I literally you. just finished the 30 Pokemon. Alright. Double kick. I think you know how we should play the outro. The way I'll play the stick over the trap and burn. I think the party started. All right. Yeah, I'll rev a room. Oh, this is this is your only Pokemon, huh? So now I gotta fight the uh, actual car. Uh, um. Right. It's gonna try and intimidate Tauros. Good luck with that. Oh, this guy's only level twenty. All right. Well, I'm not gonna pull any punches. So let's terrestrialize, and I'm gonna show in my raging bull here. Time to, time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Yeah, about the tech now. You're using Swift on me? Come on, you can do better than that. How's that for an opening attack? I'll speed you up good, Party Crasher. Now, this is an opening attack. Use Raging Bull, Tauros. Just that Almost one and done there. How about one more for the road? Yeah, and try and melt. Gabite's a ground tile. And it's dragon ground. One more raging bull toros, and this guy's going to pieces. Yeah, I could have used bulldoze instead of uh Yeah, there you go. Got him. 
to be a jack in the world. That's fine. All right. I like that. I like that. I guess that's that. Now we're getting more cutscene with Team Star. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Jackalone? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take us some stuff, so we had a chance to sell on a few plans. A few plans, like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you're coming with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Uh -huh, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know, you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Jack. Well, you look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, the team start this wouldn't work. A stuck up student possible president isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Jack I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks to you, good boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write the darn code. What did you I did the best Donald I could. Trump when you got elected? <laughs> I, I wrote the code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? There we go, got it. I got him. Good yeah, this guy went that. down. I'll give you this choice TM2, you earned it fair and square. We got TM62 foul play. This dark type move. Tur turns the target's strength against it. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this move inflicts. So this is how the party ends. Let's talk about that Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? I only use Tauros, to be honest with you. You learn those trainer chops at the Academy, like what moves you should use and stuff? If I can, sure Pokemon red, blue, and yellow, sure. Mm -hmm. Huh, okay, you like it at the Academy. Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Giant. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Well, ho, was expecting a giant Pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You got a Quack Swallow to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion to keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the Academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're the only strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion and who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. A solid snake. And where is the Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, maybe a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing us to call it quits, and we get, and then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the Big Boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star on this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Okay. Is the sky blue? Mm -hmm. Let me put it in words you AKs of the Academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. What a door. <laughs> These fireworks are getting annoying outside my house. All right. Phone call. TG, it's me. It's Cassiopeia. I take it the Jack will start badges down in your possession. Yep. I see. With his boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Giacomo. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. And we get 6,000 LP this time. You can now make more kinds of TMs. 
Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'm um, supplying you to rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. And of course, it's going to be Penny. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Oh, hello, Kryden. Wait, what the heck? Oh, it smells something. <clears throat> hey, stop that. <laughs> Why do you do that every Somebody time? Help! <laughs> Gotta love New Year's. Fireworks right outside my window. Black. It drooled all over me. Who even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. I guess there's one more for it. Wait, is it really that special? Um, before I forget, here's your reward. And we get lots of Pokemon materials. Help us make those TMs. Uh, your name is TG, right? Since yeah. you're part of our bridge of Starfall's value, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're not all that. They're wussies. Hey, it's not bad. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star warns and always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them need to be victims of bullying, or they just found that they had to inter hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders find each other and bad hair to form Team Star. All they want to do is push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just the info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I'm starting to think Penny's the ringleader. No. I also found... I'm I not thinking also, Penny, I think it's Cassiopeia. <laughs> I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't know when we talk this much, now my throat kind of hurts. Yeah, So, um, good luck with taking down the other base and stuff. <laughs> All right, Team Star Dark. Okay, so, well, that takes care of that. And now we'll be heading towards a new town. Uh, it's called Cascarafa. It's the water type gym. So All right. I think, I'm thinking I'm gonna make a couple quick, I'm gonna make a couple quick uh, updates to my, uh, let me see if this is my destination. I'm gonna make a couple quick changes to my team here, real quick. So I'm not gonna need Gyarados right now. Barely need him at all for this one here. Uh, let's see, so, Electric and Grass. So I think it's time to pull Raichu out again. Give him some levels up. Uh, I'll keep an eye on around. Uh, Are you? you? Are you happy I got you that, that you got that gibble? I and said, I got that gibble. I didn't get the gibble. You got the gibble. And I'll have a Pachuisu, but nah. I'll bring an Espeon. I need to give. I need to give some candies to Raichu now. Right, I'm gonna give him 47. All right, and just like that, he's level 35. Okay. Now I need to give uh, Raichu some, maybe I can give him some. Well, what's your move set right now? I think I already helped you out here. Fly, Thunderbolt, Star, Thunder Punch. Yeah, that's good, okay. All right, so, uh, oh, is there something? Oh, that must have flagged. Oh, that was my head. Okay, so, from the base, there's actually a path heading further north. You just gotta go northeast. The Poke Center's right there. I'm, Lisa and I are already there. And All I right. recharge your terror orb too. Yep. All right. So if we head through the base and just continue to follow the path, that should take us to the next town, Cascarafa. I'm getting a bit of lag Fire right now. Poor ninja's probably scared shitless. All right, so now I'm in West Province Area 1. If I go around this up, oh, I see, uh, I don't see you guys ventured ahead of me here. Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's the Poke Center. That's another Swablu. Yeah, you just passed right by me, just cut through the grass. Yeah, I saw you, I saw you. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. 
I've now officially used all my experience canes that I got from all those terror raids. I'm gonna have Raichu with me now. Hey, yeah, you should probably put your uh, Raichu up front, move. Yeah, I'm going up against water types. Plus, you can all also right. use Gabba, Gabba as well, because he's resistant toward the uh, water. Although the ground type kind of cancels it out, so you may want to. Uh, yeah, no. uh, what am I thinking? But you, may, but you may have a level advantage, though, so. Yeah, he's, okay, he's, love, he's level 40. Uh, yeah, you, sh you, sh you, sh you should be in fine shape here. It's a lot of. Uh, what were you saying? There's a, you're kind of breaking up there, dude. I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just looking at a, lot, a few of these stores here. I'm just going to get some new clothes here, new classes, new socks, shoes, other crap. Come on, where's the trench coat store at? Uh, let's see. Baggins, maybe? Barasidad? Seguro style? Rough and tough? Hey, this has got that elevator crap from the, uh, from, uh... Shield and sword. Mm. Let me see if I can find the gym here. You take the elevator up and it takes you right to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the uh yeah, this is the uh town with the elevator in it. What in the world is this? I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. What in the world is this? Where the hell's he going? Ah, Kofu, wait! What in the world is an Aracuda? Uh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Yeah, Fault of Veluza, I'm laid, I'm laid. Okay, yeah. Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it, of what course you were. That? that big oh. man that just left is Koku, leader of the Cascafera gym. He has a bit of a childlike side man, and today he's run out to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kid, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Koku's wallet to him? That's the challenge? Oh, yeah. I give you a gym hey, 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 hey. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Okay. Yeah. This could be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's head for Porto Morandia. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful. Though. There's okay. Dangerous... Oh, we're go oh, we're going across the Maybe desert. And I need to warn you, there is a Titan Pokemon lurking about, so be on your guard. A what? Where are y'all at? Titan Pokemon. Uh, we're in Cascaratha right now, so it's I'm direct... I'm like, where? All right. All right. Well, uh, it's directly north of Team of the Dark Star base, so check hey, the map. I went the wrong way. I went southeast. Yeah, you're way off, so... All right, so, uh... But yeah, fly, I would try and fly back to the, or get close to the Team Star Dark Base. It's due north. You probably need to go through the base to actually get there. I'm going to wait for you at one of the Pokemon Centers then, so. So we're not venturing. But yeah, we're eventually heading to another area called Porto Marineda. Um, Because, yeah, we need to uh, get the gym leader his wallet back. You forgot it. The thing is over there, uh, that's actually going to be a auction house over there in that town. I think the game is making fun of me. Why? Because I forgot my damn switch. Well, that's your opinion, but, uh... That ain't my freaking opinion, it's a freaking fact! <laughs> All right. Sorry, I've been yeah, yeah. Out. yeah, I can swim. I can swim. What are these bar boaches? What the heck is this? Oh, it's it's not actually a Pokemon I can battle and catch. Well, I can fly to this Pokemon Center, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it unlocks both. Po there are two Pokemon Centers in this town. So, uh, why is there a sandstorm over here? That's what I'm All right. right near a desert. Mm -hmm. I'm lost. Come here. Hang, hang on, D. I'm coming to get you, bro, buddy. Hang on. I'll wait here. Let's see here. Let me see. Where are you at? 
Well, you're outside. No, that is that you, D? Oh, you're. What the? F what? The whole game just crashed. Uh oh. Yeah, I just dropped an f bomb. Well, I guess that ends this episode, y'all. Yep. Okay, I'm going to have to disband this. So let's end the episode here. Uh, we have been uh, having a meltdown here. So, all right. Not good. Sorry, y'all. Oh. And, yeah. Don't worry. I know how to cut it out and post. My concern is, though, we're not using autosave. Oh, oh. shit. Let me see real quick. Let me see. I mean, it should have saved as soon as we... I mean... All right. D, I'm going to go ahead and disband the group here, so... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> all right. I'm going to disconnect. Oh. So, all right. I'm going to disband here. So just make sure you, so, okay. So this will give a D a chance to catch up and then oh. you guys. Why? Uh, I think I gotta do the Titan and the, uh, uh. All right, well, you gotta, you gotta, man. It's still yeah, getting around Yeah, we gotta it. redo it all again. God damn it. Well, I need, to head, I need to head to bed too anyway. I gotta be at work at 4 a.m. All right, so, well, just do it down your downtime. So uh, is that, that, I guess that's all we're gonna be able to record tonight? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so uh, I've got footage, but yeah, so. Well, how about this, how about this? I'll be in the truck tomorrow, and, you know, we could probably do more tomorrow, maybe. Don't how? Possibly. Don't possibly, possibly, yeah. Well, not always. Somehow I end up in Cortando. Yeah, I had to disband the group, so um, don't worry about it now. We're gonna we're gonna end the end the session tonight. So apparently, uh.